Shit are going nowhere. Okay, okay, then we're all agreed on that one. That yeah, is yeah. an away win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now um, next one up is Southampton versus West Ham. Now yeah. remember, now Julian Dix is going to be suspended for a while. Well, at least that means that while he's out, at least that means West Ham are definitely not going to have anyone sent off. Well, that's true, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know that. We'll, we'll call that a draw. Um, yep. Well, yep. is that because you think that Harry Redknapp is going to be playing Holmes and Monker in a deep-lying utility role so as to give Potts and Martin extra support? No, it's because I've got it on the coupon. <laughs> <laughs> now, next is Tottenham versus Man City at White Hart Lane. Right? Uh, own win. Own win, definitely. Yeah, right. Could be. Could be. Oh, definitely. Right, so no doubt you'll feel that Jerry Francis' new realism right, has transformed Tottenham into a well-oiled machine. Uh, no, it's because I'm Jewish. <laughs> Mystic, uh, Mystic Meg's a bit late. I wonder where she is. Here she oh, here she comes. Yeah. Oh, did you come via Quality Street, Meg? <laughs> Sorry I'm late. How was I supposed to know it was going to rain this hard? <laughs> what do you mean, being a clairvoyant like? By the way, this week's lottery winner will be a big, blonde, unemployed nursery nurse from Poplar. I told you never to mention the lottery in this room. Now then, QPR versus Norwich. The money is in a secret compartment in the grandfather clock. Never mind Arsenal. <laughs> QPR versus Norwich. I, I see Butch Wilkins. I see Butch Wilkins. Where? There. <laughs> You sure it's not Peter Swales now? <laughs> Look, stop messing about, Meg, will you? Get on with it. Wait. I see a young man who's going to make lots of money and he's going to be in all the papers. Oh, that'll be uh, Mark Draper. He's up for a very big transfer. Yeah. No. Seems to be a fat Crystal Palace fan <laughs> in a leather bomber jacket. <laughs> Fantasy Football League. This week we'll be recreating a time when it was still a shock for Norway to beat England. And we'll be saying a big hello to Brian Moore. My name is Brian Moore and I do the television commentary for ITV in London. Oh, seems a bit unfair. <laughs> but first of all, a few things we noticed from watching football this week. Continuing our psychic theme, there have been rumours that Richard Shaw, the Palace player involved in the Cantona incident, is also a clairvoyant. Here he is preparing for the game. <laughs> now, a lot of people say Cantona had it coming. They say he was asking to be sent off against Blackburn on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, that's how you put ideas in people's minds, isn't it? <laughs> Meanwhile, John Fashionu was on Anne and Nick this week, giving away some of his secret strategies. What I try and do is I always try and put it where the goalkeeper is expecting it to go. And so he does. <laughs> uh, so true. Bless him. Now, after three years of debate, theologians have decided that you no longer need to be a saint to have a halo. And for all you lovers of skillful football, it's good to see that the back heel is still a potent weapon in the modern game. <laughs> Hold on, wasn't that a, a French 
gay. Yeah, it's unlike the French to be violent, isn't it? <laughs> that is odd. Still, the thing is, there wasn't much English football on this weekend because, you know, because of the weather. I mean, match of the day had to show the bloody rugby. Yeah, that was pathetic, wasn't it? I mean, if you ask me, that's just showing rugby for all the wrong reasons. Anyway. <laughs> and it's a chance there for Gavin, and the cry has been given. <laughs> Australia have never had the opportunity of their back. Yes. <laughs> you know what? I feel we've let ourselves down. Yeah, we have. We've let the BBC down. Are you, uh, are you well, a rugby fan, Stata? Well, I like the internationals. It was the start of the Five Nations, of course, last weekend. That was great with Ireland and England. Conditions were pretty boring, bad there. Boring, boring, Stata! Boring, oh, boring, Oh, he's turned. Boring, well, hold on, mate. You are. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. It may have been wet, 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 but all the love around is for this week's new leader, Alan Hansen. Patsy Kensett drifts back to second with Frank and Paula floating just above. Tonight's guests, Nick Hancock and Russell Grant. Alan rockets the top thanks to solid defending. What else? And a bonus goal from Southampton midfielder, Jim Magill. Frank striker Ashley Ward's persistent effort against Coventry keeps my flatmate up with the pace. Chris Bart Williams' contribution to Mark Bright's goal was enough to help Mick Hancock maintain his march up the table. Russell Grant's future looks rosy enough. A quiet week, but this Steve Staunton assist to Dean Saunders keeps Russell in touch with those beyond. A change in the basement with the best week so far for David. This clinical waddle finish surgically removing him off the bottom. But Delia Smith's one-time promising fancy league souffle has collapsed. Four-pass keeper Dimitri Karin this week leaves Delia with a butter mountain to climb. That was, that was disgraceful, Stato. Out of order. Was he? Completely out of order. I care about my sport. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, hang on. Well, that's the FA Tribunal out the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's time for Gary Lineker's new Radio 5 show, I think. Is it really? Well, hell. Let's have a listen. I know you're going to believe us. I know you're going to believe us. I know you're going to believe us. We're going to win. And uh, we'll be talking to Kenny Dalgleish again. Uh, <laughs> next on the show. Gary Lineker Radio Show, not as bad as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? I hate you, you pig-faced scumbag, pretending <laughs> to know about football. You make me vomit. All you know hold about it, is... Hold it, hold it, Um, This isn't 606. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> Hello, you're through to Gary Lineker. Uh, can you help me? I'm really depressed. I had this really brilliant job and now I've lost it. Uh, look, Trevor, I'm doing match of the day now. It's <laughs> not fair. These phones, are they, are they all right? <laughs> Hello? Hello, Garrett. I'd just like to know how long you've been back in England. Hmm. About a month now. Oh, and you've been doing some filming in, in Leicester? Yeah. What about it? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? You never fool me anymore. Not now you're a big shot commentator. But whatever you've got to say about football, it'll never be as good as... Look at that Portsmouth player taking the ball out of the net. Hasn't his back got a sweet expression? <laughs> Hasn't his back got a sweet expression? What does he mean? Best not to delve into it. Uh, <laughs> what was, it? What was, was that the doorbell? 
Yeah, so it was. Oh. <laughs> Continuing the clairvoyant theme, perhaps a little bit longer, eh? And, goodness me, it's Russell Grant and Mick Hancock. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Russell. <laughs> you come in here spilling beer. Oh, no, I'm come. sorry, I'm sorry. Can't so, lovely off. to see you. Hello, <laughs> Russell. Nice first, time, first time here. Thanks, David. We have to start, don't we, by talking about the old canter night in the contract. I think so. Did you watch it, uh, Russell? Did you see the incident? I saw it on the news this morning. When Judy was doing her hair, I was watching through Richard... And I saw it, and I thought to myself... Yes, that's right. And I thought to myself... He sort of opens up. That's right. He does. <laughs> oh, bless him. And uh, I thought to myself, well, I knew that was coming, because I well, saw it... Well, you know everything's coming, don't you? It's true. <laughs> in anyway. December, I saw it all. You must think that every day, about seven or eight times. It's a terrible thing, but I've been through all this once before today, David. Yeah? I you? know what's going to happen next. Really? Do you? Yeah. The only person on this show that does. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know it was coming? How did you know this particular incident was coming? Well, back in uh, the end of the last year, I did a thing for the mirror, did the cards mm. for uh, about ten people, and Cantona was one of them, and um, he got this really terrible card, and I said... Is it uh, red? Yeah. It was really <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> and I said that he was going to have a very, very bad year. He was going to have to control his temper. It would be the better of him, and he wouldn't be much longer in England. So well, what you're trying to say is Eric Cantona like, doesn't listen to Russell Grant. That's no. right, Nick. <laughs> I wish he did. He that would have done that his after first night. mistake. What did you think about it? I him? thought it was appalling. I thought it was terrible. I thought it was tragic. But most of all, I thought it was very, very funny. <laughs> 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 Probably the best thing that's happened this season. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. It was, it was fantastic. Totally yeah, brilliant. It was great. We had a bit of an all-night celebration last oh, night. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think he actually said, the Crystal Palace fan to him? I mean, presumably it was something worse than, you know, you silly Frenchman. Or I think he may have slagged off the Marseillaise or something like that. Who knows? He said you make a very poor orange sauce. <laughs> <laughs> they taught you about that, you know. The brilliant thing is they said he was provoked, but just before that he'd... He'd thumped Shaw when the ball went that way, and then when it came back again, he kicked him. I mean, it wasn't as if it was sort of all happened all of a sudden. And Ince complaining, Ince complaining that someone threw tea at him, like anyone who's been to a football match knows for certain, that tea was not hot. I don't know. I, I, blame, I blame Ferguson you know, on a serious point, because he's sort of developed this siege mentality at Manchester United that says everyone are always getting at them and, and that's, that, that's how they are now you know, they, they I just... think I, I really like Cantona I have to say I like Notters in mm. the game always have to <laughs> he's a very skillful player but he is a madman and that's, that's yeah. the perfect combination well, yeah. who, you wanted, who else would you wanted West Brom to sign Peter Sutcliffe didn't you yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, I thought he could have cleaned up at the back. <laughs> <laughs> and they say it's his Gallic temperament, but again, Jacques Cousteau, I don't remember him ever doing that. He never, he never came back from a disappointing swim amongst the cuttlefish and kicked one of his marine biologists with his flippers on, did he? Sorry, Russell. Russell, have you got any... Who are the other ten people in these cards that you do? Well, Alex Ferguson, he's going to make a shock move from Old Trafford. Is he really? Yeah. Good yeah. Lord. Frank, I can't look at you without laughing. Well, it, really? <laughs> it's not... That, that's it's a, not that's an amazing coincidence. <laughs> 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 uh, I think he's going to become a shirt manufacturer in Hong Kong. <laughs> Get a few more <laughs> Now you're cooking, Russell. Now come on, Frank. <laughs> Happy birthday, by the way. I got your chart here. Have you got my chart? Yeah. Oh, we'll have a look at that in a minute. OK. Yeah, but think about it, it was an amazing thing. But before Wednesday night, this was the worst reaction we'd ever seen to a sending off. This is uh, Bruno, Pasquale Bruno. Oh, the same right. team. Well, no, he, he's, he's just... trying he's, to stop he's him from the referee him. here. Right. So the number two has just been sent off in the purple shirt there. And you think, well, that's it. You know, he's going to go off with a bit of dignity. Oh, no. No, he's oh, gone no. back on. Oh, no. <laughs> 
This is somebody being thrown out of a party, isn't it? Yeah. No, no, he's, he's calmed down, he's calmed, he's calmed down. Now yeah. that's it. Just keep walking in this. Oh, oh, come on. See, Brian May's calmed him down. There's no problem. <laughs> and now he's away. Oh, oh, he's broke free again. And this yeah. goes on for about four and a quarter hours. <laughs> well, that must be it now. No, he's can't watch him. Watch, watch the swerve of the hips. He's gonna. Oh, he's through again. <laughs> Because referees uh, often change their mind under those circumstances. Well, don't we they? Point out if you can get back to them, they yeah. will change well, their mind. He turned up at the ref's house apparently yeah. a week later. Sometimes. It, to be fair to him, there was a clip of the referee going, "Come on." <laughs> <laughs> and then throwing a cup of cappuccino over him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, Russell, on the subject of astrology, which is yeah. a, a fascinating thing, you're right. It is my birthday on uh, t tomorrow, actually. Do you have any idea what the, what the future has in yes, store? Yes, I have. I've got it all down here. Well, I think the most interesting aspect... Oh, look. We've well, got tea yeah. leaves on it as well. Yes. <laughs> Two fortunes for the price of one. Fantastic. Well, you've got a very, very good aspect here, Frank, coming up for the next seven years, in fact. And it starts... Um, don't, I can't do it. I can't yeah, do it. Go I'm not like working with Richard just... and Judy. Just <laughs> <really is not. laughs> You can be dead serious with them, Nick. Go on. this chart you've done, which is really lovely. Yeah. It looks like one of those ones you get at the cricket. These are all Mike Gatting <laughs> shots. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, your whole world is going to change upside down. It's going to be a bit like Eric Cantona's. Really? Actually. No, there's some very good aspects here. And I think also, you're going to go through a period as well where love and relationship... <laughs> you're right, my world is going to turn no, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Russell, because you've oh, my right, interested. Frank, but I knew I shouldn't have done this. Oh, no, no, no sorry. Oh, don't say. No, it's all right. I don't mind. Oh, I don't <laughs> mind. I'm used to this. My I shoulders am... are broad enough. Go on. And your stomach's big enough. Well, I certainly wouldn't say that, for goodness no, sake. You said it to Joe Brand last week, though, poor cow. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I, thought, I thought this was Joe Brand. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at uh, Nick's team. There you go, Terry Conroy's legs. I bought Dumitrescu, of course, who's disappeared presumably under the uh, Jordache's patio. He's gone on loan. <laughs> 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 it's the only place I can think he could possibly be. He's gone on loan to Seville. Uh, he played last week. And they they played... say that, don't they? Yeah, no, he played <laughs> last week. <laughs> Mandy Jordache. <laughs> no, sorry, they, they played last week in, uh, in the Seville derby against Real Betis. And in fact, he had a great chance. They lost, uh, actually, Seville 1 0. It was a good game. Do you but... write those little pen pictures in the programme describing what players do and where they've come from and things like that? No, but I mean, I'm sure I take <laughs> note of them. I think they're yeah. quite interesting. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's have a look at Russell's team, who are doing very well as well, Russell. Who's been doing it for you? Who's been really doing <laughs> well, it for I'm your gonna, team? I'm going to ask, after our stato Steve here, Staunton's I mean... Staunton's your man, Russell. 26 points, the highest uh, scorer in the league. You've got uh, Jason Wilcox for? and Teddy Sheringham. <laughs> <laughs> Has he played for Enfield? Eh? Aston Villa. <laughs> I mean, Liverpool put in a bid for him again to have him back. I don't think so, no. Sure, what? Oh, fair enough. We're off then. And how many points has Ian Rush got for Russell? Eight, uh, two goals and one assist. Uh, but having a fine season, Ian Rush, he really does continue to uh, produce the goods at the highest level. You know that, um, that barbican, that alcohol free lager? I do. Laurie McWinnery advertised. I don't think Ian Rush drinks that, does he? I think you'd better ask the gaffer about that. He seems to do everything else. So, uh, it's up to him. I've got, I've got a bit of asked him, so we have just asked him to tell us to get us out of the way he's had the seasons anyway, before the sun has come out. <laughs> 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 Who's Normally so articulate. <laughs> Think about Ian Rush. Is, is his head isn't any wider than his neck? Have you noticed that? He's That's just, true. He's just yes, straight, he looks like one of those pencils That's with a true. robber on the end. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think what happened there was he he swapped larynxes with Jan Mulby? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he was pissed. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was one or the other. <laughs> And you've got Mark Draper. Um, I don't know because I don't know what you know about professional football. Well, I don't know who Mark Draper is. It's, where's he from, Stato? Leicester City. Oh. And he's, at the <laughs> moment, good, people, people They're are doing off... very well, Leicester, aren't they? So I must um, just... I must... <laughs> <laughs> win against Manchester I suppose City, from a non-league point of view, they're quite high <laughs> <also>. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, I, I mean, I... 
Drape, people are offering four million pounds now for uh, Drape. I mean, not to you, to no, Leicester City. I wouldn't know. But I don't really know <laughs> that much. But it's a bit weird. Got a Leicester City fan. We could ask them. Well, what, about, what if we had, say, a sporting personality who's well known for coming from Leicester? <laughs> you know, like a snooker player or something like that. <laughs> no, if we had a snooker player from Leicester, that would be very convenient. I'll, I'll, ju I'll just take the rubbish out, shall I? <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Off you go. I'll just take the rubbish I'll out. I'm taking the rubbish yeah. out. Yeah. I'm just taking uh, the yeah. rubbish you out. Take the rubbish okay. out, Dave. Okay. Thanks. See you in a minute. See ya. <laughs> he said, I'll just take the rubbish shirt, and that bloke in the Peterborough shirt got up to go with him. <laughs> I wonder who that'll be. If you've done really, <laughs> you've, got, you've got them little strands and everything. That's perfect. <laughs> I'm completely gelled up as well, just like him off the telly. It's yeah, that, that is very good. So, um, what, have you been playing any snooker? I suppose this morning, perhaps you was in a tournament. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, I managed to lose actually in the second round this time. The second the round. Second well, round. You're I've, improved, on. I've improved good. around. But, well, who could uh, who could that be? <laughs> Kids, you know, messing about. They're always playing. <laughs> I'm Willie Thorne. <laughs> Come on. <coughs> you better sit over there on the uh, Willie Thorne setting. <laughs> Uh, Willie, what I've done is I've gone out and yeah. I've come yeah. back. I've come back dressed as that bloke from the Bill. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. How old is you? Actually, no. I'm sorry. I, I am you. I am you. Yeah. yeah the moustache is good. Is it? Yeah. The, you've got a bit more hair than me at the back, though. What do you think? What if I go and miss an easy red? Well, that. Um... That is just like me. <laughs> <laughs> just like me. <laughs> Lovely to see you, Willie. Nice He's tie, nice, nice right. jacket. Yeah, no, it's lovely. Almost knew what I was going to wear, didn't you? Well, I just guessed, you know, I just, I've been studying you for a long time. I have guessed. <laughs> so, Willie, uh, it's very, very difficult. The worst thing is the shine you've got on, on here. That's very, very difficult well, to Well, I get. gel it. Do you? Absolutely. It's sticky when you gel it and it stays in exactly the same place. <laughs> I've noticed that, actually. <laughs> no, I, 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 I've got eight hairs here and I have to get them exactly straight when I go on the shoes. Eight hairs? You know? Is that one for every round of the World Championship you've ever been in? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for that. I've should, been a pro a long time. A, shouldn't there be a row of library books between you two? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, what, what, what do you think's been the worst moment of your career, were they? Um, well, definitely missing the blue against Steve Davis in 1986. I was mm. one of the top players in the world then, and uh, after missing a very, very easy blue... I suddenly disappeared. I was still in the top 16 in the world, though, so yeah. I'm still battling on. Yeah, but right. that, was a, that was the biggest... Just to make you feel, feel great, we've actually got a clip on You're that kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> Which clip oh, have you got? <laughs> oh, listen, this is unmissable. Oh, oh dear. That is unbelievable. Nice know? hairstyle, though, look. Yeah, no, yeah. Huh? It must have been very stressful for you, losing that. I mean, we got a shot of you here before the game. <laughs> 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 it just uh, made you pull your hair out, I've got no, to tell you. No, 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 no. you don't have to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, Dave, why don't you introduce the Phoenix now? It's now time the Phoenix from the Flames in Europe. This week we're off to Norway to meet Halliver Thorison. There you are. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? You come all the way to Norway to meet Halvar Thorison, and then he doesn't even turn up. Hold on a minute, isn't that him? Uh, Halvar! Halvar! We thought this would be a good place to be the England end! I know! But I'm Norwegian! I'm not allowed to go that close to the opponent's goal! <laughs> well, Halvar. Hello, Halvar. Uh, Halvar, we're here to recreate the goal you scored against England in the World Cup qualifier in, uh, in Oslo in 1981. Uh, what, what do you remember about that game? England took an early lead. Incredibly, we equalised. And then five minutes later, Oakland made a bad cross as usual. Terry McDermott served the ball to me and I just had to kick it in the net. 
Och så är det 2-1 med halvbar Torres, en fantastisk utveckling av kampen. 2-1 till Norge. Well, well uh, thanks very much, Alva. It's a uh, nice meeting you. Take Hold care. on. You didn't come all this way for a tired old joke about Norway being defensive? Yes, we did. Really? <laughs> we did, yeah. Well, you've been listening too much to Tom Webster. I'm talking about commentators. Scott England! England! Lord Nelson! Lord David <laughs> Sir Winston Churchill! Sir Anthony Eden! Clement Attlee! Henry Cooper! Lady Diana! Maggie Thatcher! Can you hear me? Maggie Thatcher! You boys took a hell of a beating! You boys took a hell of a Now, beating! That's what you should recreate. Lord Nelson! Lord David Sir Winston Churchill! Where on earth is Lord Beaverbrook? Ah, here he comes now. Gary Mabbott? Sir Anthony Eason! Clement Attlee! Henry Cooper! <laughs> That's for the Swiss crisis. Lady Diana, Maggie Thatcher, can you hear me? Yeah, well, the thing is, Ron Greenwood should have listened to Margaret Thatcher. She's been studying videos of Norway games. Anyway, I must dash. I have to be photographed leaving a health club. Hold on. I haven't told you about the time we beat Holland. You step Holland! Oh, Vincent van Gogh! Van de Vork! You know, as in... The boy who put his finger in the dike! Martina Navratilova! Oh, no, that's wrong. Oh, what the they called? Focus! That's them! Jules Holland, probably! And Julia! Some prostitutes! The males who lived in the windmill! Where? There on the stair! Dick Van Dyke! Can you hear me? Dick Van Dyke! Your boys took one hell of a beating! Your boys took one hell of a beating! Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, I didn't Good enjoy old Helva. A yeah. tour de force. Thank yeah. you very much, Russell. Yeah. Yeah. Eric Cantona would have said something like that. Probably, yeah. <laughs> they need to kick the shit yeah. out of me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, thanks very much. Thanks a lot, Nick, for coming. Thank, thank you, you, Russell. And it's been marvellous. Thank you ever so much, Willie. It's very <coughs> nice. Very good of you to come on. Oh. Oh, now, who in the wide, wide world of sport could that be at the door? Who <laughs> 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 is quick? <laughs> Jeff, who are you this week? You! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Astor. <laughs> Side, three side, little willy willy, where's the crown? Is the king around town? Dancing, dancing, willy, driving silly, willy, stars, silly, shingles up and down. Way past one, I'm feeling alright, just when little willy's round, they can last all night. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Cause little Willy Willy won't go on But you can't push Willy round Willy won't go Try telling everybody but Oh no Little Willy Willy won't go home Little Willy won't go home Cause you can't push Willy If you want to write to us Our address is Fantasy Football League P.O. Box 168 London WC2H 7BU